Actually, today was my birthday, so <laughs> we are joking that my birthday party wa was the... Okay, let's stop here and return several days back. We are waiting for a car because yesterday evening I wanted to book a car but nobody accepted so now it's like uh, 6.10 and I had also trouble to get a taxi to the direction to the Hongzhou railway station but finally one guy accepted it and he will be in let's say in 8 minutes so we are still on track, perfect. So funny story, we cancelled the Didi driver because we are a bit a rush and you know you, ha you have the GPS location or, or the location on the Navi but the guy was actually close to our apartment and he was just driving away and taking another road <laughs> so I cancelled and I quickly we quickly had to take a taxi. Fortunately uh, it, one taxi was staying close to our compound so we took it and we are rushing to the uh, a railway station. Shanghai has three big uh, railway stations. The Shanghai railway station, the Shanghai South railway station and the third one is the Shanghai uh, Hongqiao railway station and we are heading to this station and like maybe interesting information only from the Hongqiao railway station it's the only one station where the train from Shanghai to Beijing is departing. Here is the Hongzhou Airport Terminal 2 and just here it's the Hongzhou Railway Station. So you can see they are just Railway Station Airport Terminal 2. Actually it's good to see that the mid Auto Festival it's on Monday and there is a public holiday coming because a lot of people it's on move. Safety check. Isn't the size amazing? This is just only the waiting area and you have also like basement so one floor lower where you can buy the tickets and it's the same size. So for the travel we are taking uh, high-speed train and actually the distance is approximately 200 kilometers the duration it's like two hours You can see now we arrived to the Hangzhou uh, East Station and we were just going in this direction from Shanghai and now we are changing the direction we will go just this direction so and this is the amazing way of the modularity of the seats they just rotate the seats they will fold and change the position and now we are heading in this direction Actually in the four years when we are traveling with the trains we never experienced such a change of the directions but actually first time after four years so it's fun. So we arrived in Deqing and now we have to just find the exit and I will try to book a Didi from the train station to our hotel. So actually I got a Didi driver, he will be here in five minutes, so we will wait for him. Driver just called me, actually my Chinese isn't perfect, but actually he just told me where he is waiting. So we are just heading there to find him and to go to the hotel. So it's like five minutes walking, it's actually by some parking station so let's go there the uh, map is showing that it's like uh, 30 minutes from the train station so it's just perfect this is 
office or room it's made from wood it it looks just amazing so it's something before 5 p.m and i didn't do any footage from the whole day after we arrived we played almost the whole day outside on the yard it was like nothing special for today and now we are just enjoying let's say the evening quiet time because there is less chinese people it's very quiet here it's like some escape from the big city so we woke up uh, the night was perfect and it's just amazing if you escape a noisy city and go to a village where you hear only how the dogs are belling and it's just quiet during the night it was just great cultural differences in china usually in western countries we eat for breakfast like bread ham or something like this but in china for breakfast according chinese tradition you have to eat something warm so actually because we are in a chinese hotel we get a warm breakfast a dumplings for breakfast <laughs> Today we do only small walking or hiking. We are going to one lake which is nearby to our place where we are in the hotel and tomorrow because the forecast for today it's like cloudy maybe raining so we don't want to go too far. Uh, we will go in on only to this mentioned lake and tomorrow the highlight will be the uh, most famous Moganshan mountain. So we just came here. Uh, I thought that it's uh, like a lake, but actually it's a dam. But pretty nice because it's quiet. There are no any people. Only there are some houses, but it's quiet. It's just amazing. What a wonderful so second day it's behind us. We spend it, uh, let's say, it, uh, another half a day with playing with our son here on the outside on the yard. Today also arrived several Chinese families with uh, kids and uh, Liam is enjoying it, the time with them and he wants to play. Playtime. Today is the third day and we are heading to the Mogashan mountain. Actually today is also my birthday, but we will celebrate it with a, with a hiking. Behind the village we started to walk. Uh, on the road but we recognized that it's quite far away so we took a taxi for 40 RMB it's expensive but okay we saved at least the time uh, the entrance fee to the Mogashan mountains is 80 RMB so we are on the top and actually as you can see a lot of Chinese is driving the car to the hill and nobody wants to walk so it's like traffic jam here and noisy a bit annoying if you are got used to from Europe or Western countries to do hiking means you are going to the forests or to some mountains and you just walk in China it's the people are living like too, co too convenient actually and everywhere is going a road where you can go with a car or with a bus so it's not let's say like a quiet hiking and Let's do not speak about the amount of the people because this you have to count with during some public holiday that there is a lot of people hiking around. What a wonderful world. So actually we are also surprised because here it's also like Catholic church interesting so let's continue so this is what i'm speaking about too many cars too many people so a bit disappointment
actually found a quiet place. The weather is today fine, but I made a uh, drone footage. The humidity is 100% and therefore also when I've been flying with the drone, uh, you could say in the uh, distance the mountains look at like foggy or misty but it's, it wasn't pollution because the pollution is today 70 but it's just perfect for China I think this is too famous already and here is a lot of people and it's too crowdy and too noisy <laughs> An option if you are too lazy. Noise. Oh, After, after walking, let's say, 40 minutes with people, we have finally several meters without people. Yeah! <laughs> and here, randomly, we found a hiking road. We didn't know where the road is heading, but there was a lot of tourists, so it looked interesting. Even if it looked a bit craggy, we decided to go, but I stopped it to film. So actually, this was the road downhills which we went with Liam on the back of my wife. So it was a bit fun and actually this is, I just put my camera to the back and here I'm filming only on my phone because this is the hiking which we wanted to do <laughs> and it's, it's just perfect. A bit dangerous with a kid but we will make it. Uphill, it was a bit disappointment because we went by a normal street or a road where all cars were heading. Now we're actually taking the real downhill walk, what we actually love. Traffic jam. Put back the camera to the back because the road uh, was uh, a bit uh, difficult to go <laughs> and now I just took it and this is the perfect hiking down from the Mogashan mountains to the Mogashan town. Actually, we are not sure if it's Mogashan town, but we are going because a lot of people is heading upwards. So, and we are heading down because we were already on the top. And actually the road looks like mostly like this. So we are out from the forest, we are on a normal road now. Let's say it took us, let's say, one hour and 20 minutes go down. And now we are heading to the Mogashan town. You know what? Actually, at the morning we took the wrong road. You know, there is a cross section. If you turn left, you will go by the, to the road where you have to hike to the hill. And we just turned right and this was the way for the cars so actually but this is one advantage what we found because to the hill we as you saw we use the taxi and down we hike it so good planning <laughs> didn't do any planning it was just mistake and we had good luck because we saved let's say the time and the power to go up to the hill so we use a taxi so we use the china chinese standard way <laughs> lazy traveling but then we just go down and walk at the hill and it was just the real hiking which we used to to do in europe or in western countries it was just perfect and don't forget also to check my instagram i just put it several pictures from the hike so we are waiting for our driver and actually this is the main road direction the Mogashan mountain and you can see how it's the traffic here
20 minutes later. So it is just fun because it's more than 20 minutes and you know in Shanghai in such a big city 25 million citizens you get in five minutes a car and here in such a small town because of the horrible traffic more than 20 minutes. <laughs> Actually today was my birthday, so uh, we are joking that my birthday party wa was the uh, hiking to the Mogashan mountain. This is the last evening before tomorrow we will return back to Shanghai and uh, final talks. We are here the first time to save the time which when you go there to the Mogashan mountains up with a taxi or with a car then walk around and then just hike uh, down or opposite that you will uh, hike uh, through the bamboo forest and then down you will take a taxi both options are good for taking a hotel for Mogashan town actually it's going to be a busy place there is a lot of construction they're building new hotels and I was a bit disappointed and I'm a bit worried that in several years it will be too overcrowded and too busy and it will lose the atmosphere of the small Chinese town as happened a lot of times in China. So therefore we are glad that we chosen also this hotel. Uh, I will put to the description also the name of the hotel and the address because there is uh, less people here. So definitely if you want to visit Mogan Shan uh, mountains I will recommend this hotel. 